New Balance over the last few years has been putting out hits consistently with models like the 550, the 2002R and the 990 gaining widespread popularity. And now with this model right here, the 610, they may have just found their next hit sneaker. We're going to be getting into it. My name is Josh and in this video I'll be telling you everything you need to know about the New Balance 610. So these sneakers, the New Balance 610, they are currently available at the time of filming this video on the New Balance website, not only North America, but pretty much worldwide. I will leave some links in the description so you guys can cop. In the United States, they retail for a very budget friendly price of $120. It is slightly more expensive in Europe where they go for $140, which is still not too bad considering what we've gotten used to paying for New Balance general releases. They're priced usually in that $180 to $220 range. So these ones right here are priced at $120 you can't really complain. The colorway I have in my hand is the gray mushroom pair, which so far I think is the best colorway to release in this model. Also currently on the New Balance website, we have another colorway, the stone pink colorway, which looks super clean as well. And this model, the 610, is actually not a brand new sneaker. It is a redesign of a much older model from New Balance. The 610 actually first released all the way back in 2012, and it was an updated version of the 573. And if you've never heard of this shoe before, I don't blame you because let's be honest, it wasn't the most memorable looking shoe from the New Balance roster but for the 10th anniversary of the shoe New Balance decided to bring it back and give it a lifestyle makeover and to do this they got one of their best in-house designers Yu Wu to actually work on them and if you haven't heard of Yu Wu before he is the man responsible for some of the best New Balance sneaker designs over the last few years like the 2002 R protection pack the RC30 as well as the New Balance 9060s. And the reason I say lifestyle makeover is because originally this was actually a hiking shoe. It is a trail running sneaker that has been transformed for lifestyle purposes. The first big change with the shoe has been with the materials. So you'll notice that most of the upper of the sneaker is done in a nice suede material. I wasn't honestly expecting the best quality suede when I saw the price point of the shoe, but I have to say this suede is actually quite nice. It's a nice, soft, hairy suede done in this light gray color. If you're wondering, can you still use the shoe for hiking? I guess you can, but suede is typically not the best material for hiking. It doesn't really work well when it gets wet. So I would say these are mainly for lifestyle use. The other material used on this upper is this rugged mesh, which is something you commonly see on a lot of hiking style shoes. And on this pair, it's done in this gray mushroom color, which contrasts against the rest of the shoe so nicely. Additionally, you get these hits of beige on this colorway as well. I mean, from a colorway point of view, this is just a very nice looking shoe. My favorite change on the 610, however, has been what's been done with the laces. So you'll see on this pair, the laces weave their way throughout the upper of the shoe and even going onto the toe box which not only looks very interesting, it also has a pretty good functional purpose. It gives your shoe a very nice customized fit. The standard laces that come with the pair are these gray rope style laces, but if you wanted to switch it up, you also get these cream flat style laces as well. I think these laces look pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys think. The midsole is also very interesting. If you look at the heel of the shoe, it looks like there's multiple layers there. We've seen similar kind of midsoles on some other hiking sneakers, definitely on some Solomon sneakers. And the midsole features New Balance's C-cap technology, which when wearing it on feet, I gotta say, does feel pretty comfortable, quite soft. It's not as soft as New Balance Absorb technology, for example, like you won't feel the same level of softness you feel on a 990, but it's still a very comfortable shoe and good for all day use. The outsole of the sneaker, this very rugged outsole features New Balance's endurance technology, which definitely gives the shoe a lot of grip. So it does have some functional hiking purposes still. For sizing on these, so I ended up getting the shoe in my true size to test it out. And for me, it fits me just like my 990s and my 2002s fit. I go true to size on those sneakers. On feet from a width perspective, it feels fine. However, the toe box does feel a bit roomy and that's pretty much exactly how 990s fit me. A lot of people like to go a half size down in 990s, but for me, I find that a bit too tight in my midfoot area. So I prefer to go true to size and have a tiny bit of room in the toe box. And that's exactly how these pairs, the 610 fits as well. So my advice to you guys is if you've worn other New Balance sneakers like 990s and 2002s, go with the exact same size you wear in those, you will fit the same in these. For me, that's true to size, but for you, it might be a half size down. Overall, the New Balance 610, I think this is a great shoe. It has somewhat of an elevated outdoor 
outdoors type of vibe. The plus points for me are definitely the price. You can't really complain too much about a $120 shoe. The looks, of course, are another plus point. When I had these on feet, I just couldn't stop staring at them. I thought they looked great. Most of the colorways we've seen so far look pretty good and there are some upcoming colorways as well. This is a great option if you wanted something a little bit different from your 990s or 2002s or your 550s. These are a great option and definitely a worthy addition to your rotation. Let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about the New Balance 610 and if you haven't already done so, hit that like button if you found this video useful and also subscribe to the channel. I'm dropping at least three videos a week and also wanted to take the opportunity to plug my podcast, The Kickback Pod, available on all streaming platforms. Links are all in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.